Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you are doing awesome. We are gonna be talking about real estate and commercial mortgage-backed securities. Now, if you uh, haven't been with the channel long, I actually brought up uh, CMBSs back in June, I believe, and August. And I said that by January, everybody's gonna become a CMBS, or commercial mortgage-backed securities expert. And that is because they are imploding. And I like to bring you guys things that nobody's talking about. Even Google has decided that uh, if you type in Evergrande CMBS, uh, I'm number one up there because I guess I'm one of the only people talking about this, especially because I was talking about these before the Evergrande deal and people aren't really actually putting the two together. So here we go. We're gonna talk about, and I'm gonna be linking this article below, but I'm gonna be, um, I want you to go through it. I'm just gonna touch on a few things because we're gonna talk about something other than CMBS as well. So uh, remember guys, in 2008, a little, ca uh, little side note here, in 2008, everybody knew what a mortgage-backed security was. The truth is, though, back in 2006, when I was screaming, you know, head for the hills, um, uh, real estate's going to collapse, nobody knew about it, all right? But then everybody becomes a pro. And that's what I'm trying to explain. By January, I believe that everything's, the dam's going to break, and a lot of people are going to understand uh, what's happening to their pensions. They're like, uh, yeah, we own some of those. We own some of those. And it's, it's going to be a big deal, because it's not only affecting China, it's affecting the entire world. So here we go. It's entitled CMBS set to break financial crisis record. All right. It's talking about, I just, it's hard to just go through this stuff real quick, but um, commercial real estate's fixation with low interest rates has dragged it to China to court EB5 investors and to Israel's nascent bond market. I probably pronounced that wrong. But in recent years, real estate's most steady source of it has been an old flame, CMBSs. Even after a global pandemic left parts of the office market reeling. Now, now when, let's, talk, let's talk commercial mortgage-backed securities. Think a massive office complex or a, um, you know, a shopping center, a high-rise building, okay? These are commercial mortgage-backed securities, so the security is backed by commercial real estate, okay? It said even after the global pandemic, uh, property owners are increasingly turning to CMBSs to get deals done. It's its own uh, product, so it brings a whole different pool of money into the market. It says private label and non-government backed CMBS ins issuance rose to over 100 billion for the first nine months of this year, okay, 2020, putting it on pace to surpass 2019's record of 115 billion. Now let's stop there for a second. Many of you would say, okay, Ninja, that's not a lot of money. I mean, we're talking trillions in other places. I want to explain something very closely to you. They're, they're talking about something in the United States and I'm telling you right now, it's a lot bigger than they're telling you. Okay, just like the mortgage-backed security crisis that happened back in 2006, actually mid-2005, 2006, when Ben Bernanke was telling everybody, it's okay, we have stemmed the tide, we have fixed these, uh, the mortgage, I can't even say it with a straight face, we fix it. And then he likes to throw in a quib to make everyone feel stupid, and he goes, by the way, it'd be impossible for real estate to all collapse throughout the country at the same time. It almost makes you feel like they're telling you the same crap right now when it comes to inflation and is it transitory or is it going to get any worse? Just keep that in mind. All right, so here is something I want to point out. And we're going to start talking about this too. This time, the source of CMBS debt is different. Borrowers are flocking to single asset, single borrower deals. The oh, We got another great acronym. S-A-S-B loans. Our four portfolios or trophy properties instead of conduit CMBS loans, in which multiple loans are tied to multiple assets and sold investors. Okay, so let's go over this. I'm gonna put this down. You guys need to go and check out this article below. Commercial mortgage-backed securities have a bunch of properties inside of them, right? Um, so you could have 10 high-rise skyscrapers, you could have 20 um, different grocery store you know outlets what is it called the shopping centers where you have your anchor stores or a mall property would be considered one of these and a bunch of handful of properties will be bundled into one thing just like with mortgage-backed securities where you have hundreds or thousands of homes in one security and then sold off right uh commercial mortgage-backed securities won't have as many as a mortgage-backed security but they'll be lumped together now we've got this new great acronym and i've already forgotten it my point being is that these are single properties so you might have one um one high-rise development, one shopping center, large shopping center, one mall, right? These are trophy properties. 
the reason why is a lot of people have said, well, hey, why don't we just put some of these into these this one class of, of property so you know exactly what you're getting, right? We're gonna learn our lessons from 2008 because you could have a, a few uh, really high-end trophy properties and then the rest of these uh, securities are just crap, right? The rest of the debt is just crap. And we, we saw that, we learned that from Lehman Brothers where they were salting good credit scores inside these bulk mortgage-backed securities. So they go, hey, let's do these single pieces. And they're just this prime stuff. And I'm telling you right now, those prime uh, pieces, they're easier to weigh, you know, the pros and cons, because you could see the property, get, get a really good idea of what it's worth, because it's just one property, right? It's one high rise, it's one shopping center. You gotta you get a good idea of how the rents are going and all that kind of stuff. Here's the problem. Those are not gonna be the issue. Those are the prime uh, properties that are coming out, being put into this one security and then sold off as a great deal. I believe you're going to see a lot of crap flowing from these CMBSs. And that again is my point of why, like if, if the commercial mortgage-backed security uh, you know, industry wasn't imploding right now, which it is, just so you guys know, it, it, it is. Uh, why would you have the need for single properties, right? So you're gonna have a totally different book value, for lack of better terms, on, on these single trophy properties, right? These are the properties that, that large institutions are wanting to grab onto, the wealthy people are wanting to grab onto, and this a lot of the time has to do with their location too, you know, beachfront, things like that, just really good properties that, um, you know, good industrial areas, places that are gonna retain value because there's a lot of industry that is gonna create jobs, you know, yada yada, bring in income. So my point being is I just wanted to sort of touch touch on this and I want you guys to look at the story. I think it's very important that you start looking at this because I want to, to reiterate this. There are CMBSs in everybody's pensions across the nation. I'm telling you. They're, and they're going to be dug down deep. If you want to, I'm sure you can Google your pension and your pension name and type in CMBS behind it and they're going to, in their quarterly or annual reports, they'll talk about how much exposure they have to all this stuff. Um, it doesn't mean your your port your pension's going to zero. But what it is going to do is, as this collapse keeps taking uh, full effect, we're and just because it has a different name, a different acronym, it's the same exact thing. These are portfolios full of non-performing assets or poorly performing assets, and there's already a whistleblower case in effect right now showing the absolute destruction of what's been going on for years now in the CMBS market. That they have been. Um, there's a lot of, of banks that have f lenders that have falsified uh, information about the properties. And I'm telling you, it's just the same exact thing as 2006, just a different name. And what happened was that pin pricked the bubble in China and it's starting to flow all throughout the world right now. And like I said, by January, you're gonna see this out in the, in the news. And the cool thing is you'll be able to say, hey, I heard it first from the Ninja. With that being said, the Ninja is out.